Traumatic brain injury really is uh, one of the leading uh, public health issues that we face today. Uh, there are millions of people that are affected by traumatic brain injury, everything from little children to, to the elderly population. Um, and unfortunately, we lag probably 30 to 40 years behind where we are with cancer and heart disease. Um, so this is really a, a tremendous problem where we have very little solutions. In fact, what I do as a trauma neurosurgeon has changed very little over the last 100 years. So I think that, you know, where we have a disease that we currently describe as mild, moderate, or severe, uh, one really couldn't imagine applying this sort of approach to something like cancer, for example. And so really the goal of our work is to really be more precise and to have a better understanding of traumatic brain injury given the huge uh, public health consequences of this. So uh, there's the Track TBI pilot, which was really about looking at the, uh, the feasibility and the utility of the TBI common data elements, which underpins uh, really everything that's happening today in the traumatic brain injury field. It was really also about trying to put together uh, tools and resources for doing this multi-center work and form the foundation of the new Track TBI study. And I think it's important to recognize that I'm just the talking head here, that uh, I'm only the contact PI. This is truly a collaborative effort that represents the work of many other uh, very uh, senior and talented people that are working together as a collaborative group to tackle this very important problem. So uh, the main goal specifically are to try to have a better way to classify or stratify patients uh, uh, beyond mild, moderate, and severe to really understand better how to characterize the outcome because today we use a very crude and grand, uh, a very crude tool to look at outcome uh, that, that really doesn't describe the multifaceted nature of outcome in these patients. Uh, the other thing that we're trying to do is really to, to build the kind of data repository that FITBER is meant to handle, uh, which is to really um, uh, use this as a platform for future discovery as well. Uh, we're also trying to understand more about what we would call mild TBI. Uh, much of the field over the last 30 years is focused on the severe end of the spectrum, but we know that uh, over 80% of the people that seek out medical attention, and maybe even more, uh, have what we would call a mild TBI or a concussion. And I think we're getting uh, fresh new insights into this as well. So uh, I, I think one of the things that we've seen, because this is an observational study and not a randomized controlled trial, which has very rigid inclusion and exclusion criteria, we're finding really what the public has been telling us is that uh, the impact of traumatic brain injury probably is a little bit more significant than we've uh, really believed. And so uh, I think uh, this is also true with some of the other uh, prospective uh, observational studies that uh, NINDS is funding now, is that we're seeing slightly higher death rates uh, we are seeing uh, more morbidity uh, out at uh, 6 and 12 months. So I, I think when you look at the population as a whole and not exclude things like prior TBI, we find that this is uh, really a much more, uh, it's a bigger problem than I think we, we initially thought that uh, was there. We've also uh, learned quite a bit about uh, validating some of these newer imaging tools, say for example the 3T MRI, looking at diffusion tensor imaging, uh, and also just good old fashioned structural imaging imaging and that really uh, we're still stuck in the clinical realm using CT scans and so I think we're starting to see now that in as with other areas of clinical neuroscience we probably need to move towards uh, MR imaging as well. We've also helped to uh, extend and validate uh, previous observations about blood-based biomarkers for the diagnosis and detection of traumatic brain injury. Uh, I think we're really starting to dig deeper into how would we assess outcome in these patients beyond just simply using a GOS or a GOSE. Uh, and I think really the main thing that we're really learning today is how to work together as a large team. This is really team science. This is collaboration. And um, it's a lot harder than you think it is. But I think the rewards that we've had and the new ideas that have been generated and really the ability to bring on junior investigators through some of the K awards, uh, I, I think this is a really exciting time. And we see this as a, as a new way of, of really working in this field rather than in the silos and the competitive space that we worked before, really in this more collaborative, uh, integrative, uh, and, and really a, a, a team approach approach to this problem that's never going to be solved, in my opinion, by a single investigator, a single institution, or a single company. We're going to have to work together in these public-private partnerships to solve this problem. 
Well, I, I think you know, uh, Fitbur is is a, a tool that that is a repository where we're all putting our data. Uh, I think too often what happens is da data sets get lost; uh, they're they're not curated well, and so this is going to provide a legacy for future investigators. Uh, the one caveat I would have is that uh, this is complicated, and uh, this data isn't as straightforward as an ICD-9 or an ICD-10 code. It isn't as simple as uh, DNA sequencing, GATC. Uh, uh, there's a lot of nuances to this data, and it is my strong belief that uh, we need to move beyond just simply sharing this data. Uh, we need to collaborate, and so we are open to collaborating with anyone that wants to look at our track TBI pilot data as they in the future look at our track TBI data. Uh, we want you to understand this data. Uh, we want to work with you to maximize the value of this. Uh, you know, again, we're just in the very early stages of standardization, and I think uh, it's it's still too early just to compare things that have been standardized for decades uh, because this hasn't been and we really want to get the maximal amount of information I think we want to make sure that everybody appropriately uses this data completely understands this in a way uh, that they can move the field forward